Deputy President, all the members present, Your Excellency, it is fair that I actually set the record straight. It is not that I'm one of the youngest in the Senate, it is that I am the youngest. <laughs> it is fair that we set that record straight. Your Excellency, in the one minute that I've been given, want to appreciate you and your deputy for offering and being very deliberate in mentoring those of us who have been elected young. From the Senate, Your Excellency, and I give the apologies of the members of the Senate who are not here because uh, we were out of town with our speaker, but uh, you have been deliberate. You have given us one of the youngest majority leaders in the Republic of Kenya to ever exist, Honorable Iron Cheriot, um, who is a member and a paying member of the KYPA, and many other members who are chairmen of committees, including my own self. Your Excellency, sir, it would be catastrophic if you chose otherwise. From history, we can predict the future. In um, uh, a long time ago, when I, uh, before I was born, Jomo Kenyatta became the Secretary of Cow at the age of 31. In 1955, Moy, uh, Daniel Moy left teaching and became the, uh, member, uh, a, a member of the Regi Corps at the age of 31. In 1960, Moy Kibaki left Makerere University as a lecturer to come and become the Executive Officer of Kanu. In 1997, Uru Kenyatta left whatever he was doing and, and came and became um, uh, you know, ran for uh, member of parliament for Katundu South, uh, although he didn't win. In 1997, William Ruto left whatever he was doing, ran for office, and became member of parliament. It is these young, uh, these five young members of parliament who are uh, paying members of KYPA who went on become, uh, to become the presidents of this great republic. It is then this that we can use then to predict that the future of this republic is seated in this particular hall that you are seeing, Your Excellency. The presidents that are coming are seated just here. The ministers that are coming are seated in this particular room, Your Excellency. If then you do not better them, if you do not get a better William Ruto, if we ever find ourselves in the kind of economy that we found in ourselves, if we didn't get a bright uh, leader like William Ruto, where would our country have gone to? So you have a responsibility, before God and before men, to continue mentoring us. And the mentorship must be across board. It must be within uh, your party and more importantly, even those who are not uh, members of our party. Why? Because the friends of today are not the friends of tomorrow. And neither are the enemies of today the enemies of tomorrow. It is tomorrow that I will take Babu Owino to be my running mate and we shall form government together and we are not members of the same party today. So Your Excellency, even as we ask you to continue taking uh, members from other delegations, take members from ODM, go with them. Take members from WIPA, go with them. Because KYPA, tomorrow we shall be other different people and we shall form other new alliances. Thank you very much, Asantoni San, and God bless you. Magofi Yagemedu, Ezena, one minute, please.